In this video, we are showing you two solutions for Mission 8 called Rolling Camera in this year's FLL Masterpiece Robot Game. In this mission, the goal is to release the rolling camera down the track to shoot the movie scene. Both of our solutions are very similar, we are just using different attachments. To solve this mission, we are using the Spike Prime Advanced Driving Base with the Lift Arm Attachment, both built from the instructions available in the Spike Prime software. For our first solution, we modified the arm by adding an axle and a triple perpendicular pin connector with a Technic panel at the end of the arm to have a wider surface area for opening the gate near the end of the track, as well as for pulling the orange bar of the launcher. There are a few things we want to show you with our solution for Mission 8. Sometimes it makes sense to pause the program and reposition the robot in home before relaunching. We also utilize both launch areas in our solution, as well as having our robot drive backwards for a portion of the program to avoid unnecessary turns and save some time. For our first solution, we launch our robot from the left launch area to first open the gate near the end of the track. The robot lowers its lift arm to push down the orange activator to clear the track. The robot then drives backwards into the right home area, where one of our team members realigns the robot against the south wall. Little handling is needed because we drove backwards, so the robot was already facing the right direction. The robot is programmed to wait for a press of a button to continue. After the button press, the gyro sensor is reset and the robot starts driving straight towards the dolly launcher. Here, the robot places the triple connector of the lift arm behind the orange bar of the launcher and drives backwards, pulling it back. The robot then lifts the arm, which releases the orange activator, launching the rolling camera down the track. For our second solution, we removed the light blue blade from the modified arm of our first solution. Then we also have a separate long beam extension that fits onto the arm. We use that extension as a pole to push the camera down the track. The first part of our solution is the same as last time, however, once the robot arrives in the right home area, our team member attaches the beam extension onto the lift arm. The extension is built in such a way that it fits right through the dolly launcher frame and is just long enough to push the camera dolly up the hill. Once the camera reaches the top, it just simply rolls down the track. Points are awarded depending on where the rolling camera's white pointer is at the end of the match in relation to the different shade of blue tiles in the middle of the track. For solving this mission, teams earn 10 points if the camera's white pointer is left of the dark blue but right of the medium and light blue tiles. 20 points are awarded if the camera's white pointer is left of the dark and medium blue tiles, but right of the light blue tile. The maximum points achievable for this mission is 30 points, which is scored when the camera's white pointer is left of the dark, medium, and light blue tiles. This is only possible if the orange track gate has been opened. This mission is one of the harder missions if you are attempting to use the orange activator. But, as we have shown you, there are other options to move the rolling camera.